up on today's episode of Airborne Uncrewed. Lilium begins flight testing in Spain. DARPA AFRL Lockheed complete hypersonic missile test. And Autel begins importation of Dragonfish Light and Pro. Hi, I'm Holland Lee. Welcome to Airborne Uncrewed, a weekly news program covering all things uncrewed in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Uncrewed Vehicle Systems International. Let's get into today's stories. Lilium begins flight testing in Spain. Lilium has officially begun its efforts to test and evaluate their electric VTOL Phoenix 2 aircraft. The manufacturer will extend the flight envelope through a series of flights to evaluate the prototype's behavior and transition from vertical takeoff and hover to horizontal flight. The regime has been put into motion with Atlas Flight Test Center staff taking advantage of its facilities and expertise. Lilium says the support from the Andalusian Foundation for Aerospace Development as well as the Center for Advanced Aerospace Technologies has been instrumental. Coinciding with the increased pace of the test program, Lilium will complete production on an additional demonstrator, Phoenix 3, scheduled to arrive in Spain around the start of summer. The additional aircraft will help to quicken the pace and get their all-important certifications completed as soon as possible in the race to become the first widespread eVTOL mark in the global AAM market. Daniel Wigand, CEO of Lilium, expressed enthusiasm for the new test regimen. Quote, we are excited to have kicked off our next phase of flight testing in Spain. This step takes us even closer to reaching our goal of creating a sustainable and accessible mode of high-speed, low-noise regional air mobility, end quote. Coming up after the break, Avalon beats estimates with 500 VX4 orders over nine months. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link hand control unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. <laughs> and I'm Martha King. We're especially happy to say that we're getting ready to go to Sun and Fun. And to help even more people celebrate Sun and Fun and the spring flying season, we're having our biggest sale ever. 22% off all King Schools courses. We look forward to seeing you at Sun and Fun and at the airport. airport. Welcome back. In the next Uncrewed Minute, let's take a look at some shorter stories making the rounds of the Uncrewed vehicle communities. Avalon beats estimates with 500 VX4 orders over last nine months. The electric VX4 has beat expected pre-order commitment estimates with more than 500 aircraft earmarked for airlines around the world. Avalon pre-ordered 500 VX4s in June of last year and has now chosen to exercise its option for 50 additional aircraft after placing each one of its initial order. Vertical Aerospace has been seeing considerable interest in the VX4, whether with JAL, AirAsia, Gaul, and more. Their work will soon be in service around the world. Vertical Flight Society recognizes breakthrough technical stars. The Vertical Flight Society has announced the 2022 Licton Award winners with a special focus on technical excellence from first-time technical paper presenters. The overall Licton winner was Sikorsky's Timothy Schmidt, who took top billing for his work entitled, quote, Automated Optical Rotor Blade Tip Clearance Tracking Using Artificial Intelligence Algorithms. It will be presented to the Society during the Test and Evaluation 1 session. Schmidt was also the winner of the Society's Southern U.S. Region Licton Competition. Amazon Signs Huge Launch Services Contract Amazon has struck an agreement with French space launch provider Arianespace, Blue Origin, and the United Launch Alliance for their recently announced Project Kuiper satellite constellation. 
The surprising contract broke records for being the biggest commercial procurement of launch vehicles in history, purchasing the heavy lift capacity required in order to deploy the Kuiper constellation of 3,236 satellites in low Earth orbit. The system will provide global broadband access once completed, with the full constellation expected to deploy between 83 launches over a five-year period. Triaxial Accelerometer Released by Texas Aerospace Technologies Texas Aerospace Technologies has launched their new TXA-201 Triaxial Accelerometer. The sensor takes advantage of improvements in microelectromechanical systems, resulting in a tiny, compact, but robust sensor to convert gravitational and inertial forces into a DC voltage output for each of the three axes. The TXA-201 has outputs for lateral, longitudinal, and vertical feeds ideally suited for flight data recorders and flight data acquisition units. That was our Uncrewed Minute, now back to the rest of the news. DARPA AFRL Lockheed Complete Hypersonic Missile Test Aerojet Rocketdyne has successfully test-flown a prototype scramjet engine for the hypersonic air-breathing weapon concept in a joint program with DARPA, the Air Force Research Lab, and Lockheed Martin. The HAWC program is hoped to develop and demonstrate foundational technologies needed to create an effective and affordable air-launched hypersonic cruise missile system. The hostilities half a world away have highlighted an apparent gap in the American arsenal, giving planners, designers, and leaders some added urgency in developing a sufficiently competitive system to achieve capability parity. The fundamental design of the HAWC as created leverages decades of improvement in engineering, materials, and computer-aided design capability. Aerojet Rocketdyne has lowered part count by 95% with the use of additive manufacturing throughout the system 3D printing parts that would be impossible to affordably mill or cast using traditional methods. Given the rapid pace of development in the additive manufacturing realm, the HAWC benefits from a considerable level of advancement over its aged predecessor. Aerodyne has taken the lessons learned from that program and continued to, according to staff, quote, improve the aerothermal performance, affordability, scalability, and rapid manufacturability of scramjet engines to meet emerging needs for hypersonic missile and aircraft applications, end quote. After the break, Autel begins importation of Dragonfish Light and Pro. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit flyskyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Autel begins importation of Dragonfish Light and Pro. Autel Robotics has announced the availability of its Dragonfish Light and Pro UAVs in the United States for the first time. The new products join the vanilla Autel Dragonfish to provide a wider range of pricing and mission profiles for users, requiring just a little more performance, more range, or lighter weight. The Dragonfish is a durable, multi-rotor drone capable of VTOL flight with more economic fixed-wing capability. The maximum flight speed comes in at 67 miles per hour with a transmission range about 18 and a half miles. The Dragonfish Pro takes that basic recipe and increases its endurance, taking its flight time up to 180 minutes while carrying a full payload all the way up to a 19,685-foot ceiling. 
That allows it to be the scalpel of choice for those wanting a quiet, high-altitude ISR platform on the cheap, whether using it for discrete surveillance or wide area mapping and survey. Its maximum payload comes in at 5.5 pounds. The Dragonfish Lite comes in at just under 10 pounds, including its two batteries, with a 5'2 wingspan, 2.2 pound payload, and a ceiling of 13,000 feet. And that's our program for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.